Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Alternate Cuts. Now, in lieu of this being October, the month for Halloween, we decided to go with some Halloween extended cuts, or work prints, or so on and so forth. Today, we'll be taking a look at Halloween, the homecoming. Now, of course, this is the composite of Halloween Resurrection, which was originally titled The Homecoming. Probably most people's least favorite Halloween film. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. So I wanted to say a big thank you to Joe, because this had to have been so hard to put together. Once again, there are tons of scenes in this, and it really is a different film when you look at it. Uh, there's a completely different beginning. There's a completely different ending. And it's pretty uh, pretty freaking cool. Now I'm going to go through all the differences in the film. Uh, one by one, I wrote them all down, and there's a lot. So bear with me. Um, we're going to get into Halloween the Homecoming. First of all, we have a different beginning, which is a beginning showing Michael's past, like home movies of when he was younger. Then we go back to the original film, where he goes and kills Laurie. Now, extended kills of both guards in the um, mental asylum. Um, also, when Michael is confronting Laurie for the last time, there is this odd music, this creepy child's music, and it is awesome. It definitely gives the scene a different flavor. Uh, there's a different title card, of course, Halloween the Homecoming, and this shows how Michael gets the car <laughs> from the campers in the woods. What campers in the woods? Well, after he kills Laurie, and he gives the knife to the um the guy who can memorize all of the serial killers. He goes into the woods and basically steals the keys, just like he did in uh, H2O from the woman and the girl in the rest stop. Steals the keys from the camper, the campers, while they are having sex. And that's how he gets that car that he pulls up in front of the house. Let's see, we have a scene where Buster Rhymes and Tyra Banks are contestants on this show. Um, not contestants, they're, they're being interviewed about danger entertainment, danger entertainment, and what exactly it's about. Now, this one's kind of a weird one. When the main character screams and course, Buster Rhymes knows that she's the one um, he wants in his show. Apparently, they dubbed the scream, which I don't understand. Joe doesn't understand because her scream is crazy awesome. So I don't know why they did that. And she actually shows the scream again a little bit later. So two of her original screams both got dubbed and downplayed, and I don't get it. Okay, there was a conversation with the two girls about fear, the main character and the, the I can't remember her name, but the blonde-haired girl that is her friend. We have Michael pulling up to his house. Uh, there's extended Tyra and the cameraman, her complaining about him and then, which leads to um, the cameraman's death, which is extended and gorier. And, of course, uh, <laughs> the part where Tyra is dancing around is actually um, they're listening to All For You by Janet Jackson. I don't remember if that was in the real movie or not. Now I'm getting kind of, you know, going back and forth. Um, but they may not have been able to use it because of rights, rights issues, but they may have, and I just forgot. 
It's been a while since I've seen Resurrection. Um, this is a pretty interesting scene. You have a few scenes with uh, Deckard and his friend, the, the blonde-haired kid. Uh, the first one is kind of like a jokey sort of scene that I wish they would have left in because it was kind of funny. And there's also the scene where they decide to go to the party. And they're riding their bikes to the party. And they stop. And they see that the Dangertainment uh, Michael Myers house uh, episode has just started. Um... Also, there's an extended version of them flipping through the photo album in the house, the contestants of this game show, or this reality show, whatever you want to call it. And it's got a lot of photos of Michael's past. Now, this is an important one. <clears throat> of course, we get to see Tyra's death. And I'm actually not going to pull any punches with this... Um, alternate cut because a lot of people probably won't be able to see it so I'm going to tell you exactly what's different about the film like I've been doing um uh Buster Rhymes of course we're at the end now and Buster Rhymes drop kicks Michael through a window which is pretty freaking cool and he actually is hanging from a tree uh Michael gets loose and jumps Buster Rhymes almost killing him so you don't get that trick-or-treat motherfucker or anything like that. Thank God. Um, of course, the girl tries to get away by running into the basement, which leads them into the garage. Michael gets um, electrocuted like he did before from the wires. And the place catches on fire. <clears throat> of course, instead of Busta Rhymes and the whole part that is not in there anymore, thank God. It's Deckard that comes there and rescues our main character from the fire. And Freddy, or Buster Rhymes, goes to the hospital. And the very end isn't the same as, of course, not because Deckard saves our main character, but the ending where he goes to the hospital and they open up the body bag and he... Um, his eyes open. That's completely different. It's more of uh, our main character in Deckard um, kind of outside. She has a blanket wrapped around her and she's talking about how you can't kill the boogeyman. So a little bit more of an appropriate ending to this one. In a way, it's a completely different film. And even though it still has a lot of the same reality show scenes, which I know a lot of people don't like, but at the time, it was very appropriate because reality was really starting to get into its flow. So I think it was a smart movie to make. But yeah, there's a lot in this, in this cut that I thought was really interesting and really enjoyable. So... Thank you, Joe, again for making this. Like I said, this had to have been so hard because he spliced the scenes in perfectly. And I really enjoyed this. Thank you so much, Joe. This was awesome. Don't forget to check out his alternate cut review for Halloween, the Homecoming, the composite. And remember, guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.